What's up everybody? So in this video, I'm gonna go over how to snell a hook. This video has been requested quite a few times considering you need a snelled hook for majority of the fishing that you're going to be doing. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, you're gonna take your hook and you're gonna take your line. You're gonna feed your line through, okay? So it's being fed through right there. We're gonna take about a foot to work with. Like I've said in previous videos, you know, the more line that you have to work with, a little bit easier it is, you have more play in it. Next step, make a loop. This loop is gonna be either going against the side of it or on top of it. It doesn't really matter as long as you have the loop, okay? So next, you're gonna take that line that you have that you created, that foot of line, and you're gonna wrap that around while pinching the hook and the loop together. You're gonna pinch it all together and you're gonna wrap your line going around all of it and it's gonna go towards the barb of the hook. Okay, so we're gonna wrap it six to eight times while you're still left with that loop. Now that you've wrapped it your six to eight times, you're gonna go through that loop with your tag end that you have. Okay, now you're gonna lock that into place by pulling on that end, okay? Next step, let go of that pinch that you have and then you're gonna hold it like right here so it doesn't go above anything. So you're gonna lock that down, keep locking it in, and then it's gonna pull on top while applying a little bit of tension from that tag end, you're gonna pull that top, that main line. So everything's locked in. Now you're all locked in, you're all cinched down, and you have a snelled hook. You're gonna clip that tag end off and then you're gonna cut your line accordingly to whatever you're using it for, whether it be wreck fishing, you use something a little bit shorter, that way you can attach to a dropper loop, or if you wanna, you're gonna, or if you're gonna go for a fluke, you're gonna use something a little bit longer, and then you're gonna close it off with a perfection loop, which I'll show you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and also comment below for another video that you wanna see, or any tips or suggestions, or anything that you wanna learn, and hopefully I can help you guys out. All right, see you guys soon, bye.